Hello, I'm Craig McLean and welcome to another brief video. Uh, basically give you a bit of an update on uh, what's happened since my last video. Now as I explained last time, the Escort went in for paint, uh, I think it was early December last year. The car's still in paint, it's actually my favourite thing at the minute, it's going up every week and seeing how it's progressing. It's amazing to go up every, every week and, and you don't know what the progress is going to be. So sometimes I get photos from the, the guy who owns the body shop. They'll send me by uh, photos, which then makes me even more intrigued to get up there and see how it's coming on. But I absolutely love going up and see how it's coming on. But as, as we are now, it's still up in the body shop. So, obviously, while it's been away, I've been sitting on my ass doing nothing. Uh, and with what's happening in the world at the minute, I've had more time than I ever anticipated I would ever have. So I decided that I would get on with the two things I wanted to get done before the Escort came back. It was always my plan from the start to get my garage back to how it was before I started and also to make a brief start on the engine. So the garage, basically when I built the garage five years, six years ago, I had it absolutely immaculate. The walls were all beautifully white, the floor was shiny grey. And four years of welding and grinding, as anyone who's done that kind of work knows, it takes its toll on any garage. So basically my garage, my floor was pitted, my walls were dirty, everything was thick with black dust. And I'm a type of person where I like my garage and my atmosphere I'm working in to be immaculate. And as much as I hoovered up every time I finished grinding and welding, you never get rid of it all. So while it's been away, I've took the time to get my garage back to what I would call, what I would class as, uh, Mini M Sport. Now, M Sport is actually a company in the Lake District that uh, it's the local rally team, uh, WRC team, and their workshops are known for being clinical. Basically, the build rally cars, but they reckon you reckon they reckon you can basically eat your dinner off the floor, and that's how I've always wanted my garage. So, while the car's been away, I've recoated the floor in the epoxy resin coat. Uh, I'll show you around in a minute, and I've also repainted all the walls. Um, so the, ga the garage is now exactly how I want it. it it's clinical. People have actually came in uh, recently and with the coronavirus issue and said, uh, "When are they bringing the beds in? Because you, you could have basically you could have you could have patients in here." So, anyways, that's that. I'll go around in a minute. And the other thing I've been doing is my engine. Now I know a lot of the uh, the anoraks out there will be against the engine I'm fitting, which is. Uh, an ST170 used in the later Focus. Um, now, this engine, I decided to go down this route because, of course, I would love a Harris Performance engine. Who wouldn't? They're amazing. But you're talking real, real daft money to get 150, 160 brake horsepower, whereas the ST170 is 170 brake horsepower as standard. So, therefore, take an ST170 engine, rebuild it, put a set of throttle bodies and an exhaust on it. You'll hit 200 brake horsepower pretty easily, so you'll have nice brake horsepower, you'll have reliability, uh, and everything I want basically from the car. And as it happened, I was many years ago, I helped two very good friends restore the shell of a Series 1 RS Turbo. Uh, I didn't do it for any money or anything, I just do it because I really enjoy welding fabrication, as I've explained in the other video. I never asked anything for it, but one day I was working in my garage. And in they came and said that I needed to go and help them lift something out of the back of the pickup that was on my drive, that they just reversed on my drive, and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> anyway, so when I got out, the, uh, Steve, um, my mate from Two Doors Down, he'd heard of a, an a ST170 Focus, a Mark 1 Focus had been wheeled into our local scrapyard, and him and his son, Anthony, who's my best mate, uh, decided to go, around, uh, go over to the scrapyard whip the engine out and drop it off for us. So I've had uh, a relatively high mile, but a complete ST170 engine under my bench for the last few years. So I'll go through the garage and the engine, explain what I've been doing these last few months, and uh, take it from there. So, as I was saying, the garage floor has been redone in an epoxy resin coat. Now originally I used uh, what was called Floor Coat SF41 and when I come to buy this stuff again it went up dramatically in price. 
and the company I bought it off told me about this uh, product I've now used which is exactly the same colour, Goosewing Grey or Goose Grey and he actually said it's cheaper and it's a better product so I thought I'd give it a go it went down beautifully, high shine uh, time will tell whether it's as hard a wearing as the other stuff the other stuff was brilliantly hard wearing but um, with a bit of luck if it's every bit as hard a wearing as the other stuff I'll be I'll be chuffed to bits and now all the grinding and welding's over it should last longer in theory so yeah repainted all the walls because they were pitted promo photos back up different posters back up just try and get the garage exactly how I like it everything beautifully and clean perfect environment for building nice cars so that's pretty much what I've been doing in the garage that took a bit of time I had to move a lot of things into uh, my mate's garage while I painted the floor etc uh, so thanks to him for that so that's pretty much concludes my garage I've got it back exactly how I want it now then this is the ST170 engine I was just talking about now this engine had a reckon about 125,000 mile on it when I've looked back at its history uh, I've got the registration number of the car it came out of etc um, and basically what I've done with it I've completely stripped it I took the main engine block pistons uh, crank etc down to our local engineer Tommy Luthert who's been in the business of engineering since he was 16 and he's now I believe about 70 so there isn't a more experienced guy in his field than Tommy Luthert everybody around here knows he's probably one of the best in the country his knowledge is outstanding it, you know he'll measure things and he doesn't even need to look in books to find out the clearances and stuff he just knows off the top of his head so basically I took the block the con rods the uh, pistons and the crank down to him he measured it all up and he basically said you know what I wouldn't do anything with that he says it's absolutely perfect he said your crank is perfectly round it's perfect size there's nothing wrong with it he says put your crank back in I'm not even going to polish it up it doesn't need it uh, your pistons and your rings are all both absolutely fine he said so basically if I was you I would just uh, put a new set of bearings in it while it's in bits so I bought new bottom end bearings mains and big ends so that's all been put to get, uh, back together cleaned up and put back together with uh, new um, new bottom end bearings uh, the block I thoroughly cleaned the block up and repainted that in the um, in black enamel a good few coats just taking my time because I wanted it to look to look right all the aluminium parts have been uh, shop blasted uh, I've still got some more parts to come obviously um, I've been checking with my mate the um, the valve clearances uh, which five of them are slightly out I'm gonna have to buy new um, new followers um, they're not massively out but probably enough to make it a bit tappity so it's worth doing it's worth doing right um, so that, I still need to get the, ta um, the followers when places eventually start to open again um, uh, I've still got to order the Campbell kit uh, I found that, I found exactly where, what I'm looking for with that uh, it comes with the water pump I need a new oil pump um, I'm in a bit of a debate with the, uh, the oil pump Sorry, um, the oil pump um, I, I either fit the original one which I know it's 100,000 miles but I don't think they were a problem area the brand new genuine one from Ford is over £300 but Burton Power do one for I think it's 70 odd I just wonder why it's it's that much cheaper so I'm in a couple of minds as to whether to put the old one in buy the genuine Ford one or make do with the, the Burton one I'll, I'm going to have a, a, a chat with Burton and take it from there um, so yeah that's pretty much where I'm up to um, I also need on these the variable valve time in the ST170 so that the cam on the right uh, that's got a variable uh, valve uh, pulley and the one on the left that's just a standard pulley that's on the exhaust and if you fit a vernier pull, uh, cam pulley uh, and retard it by I believe seven eight nine degrees you gain an extra about 10 brake horsepower so I've got a vernier pulley to buy for that as well um, eventually like I say it will be fitted with um, Genvy throttle bodies and um, and whether I go for uh, the Omex engine management that that kit comes with or a lot of people are going on about um, the uh, ME221 engine management which has got absolutely amazing reviews I still haven't decided on that yet but I've got plenty of time on that 
Uh, again, it'll have a stainless exhaust, a decent stainless exhaust. In fact, I'm actually looking on the wrong side. I'm talking about the exhaust and I'm on the... Uh, yes, I'm on the right side, sorry. Yeah, I am. I'm on the right side. I'm on the exhaust side. So it'll have a stainless exhaust, um, a couple of dress-up bits. The cam covers are where getting, um, getting painted the same colour as the body. So basically, it won't be going in until it looks it looks right. So yeah, that's that's what I've been on with over these last couple of weeks. As as I said, I didn't expect to have this much time in the garage. It came as a bit of a shock, obviously, as it did to everybody else. Um, so hopefully, a couple of weeks' time, I'm hoping, uh, I might have the Escort back and I can do a really interesting video. I get so excited when I go up and see the car. It's coming on fantastically. So hopefully, I'll be able to uh, do an update in a couple of weeks. And show you just how how uh, how awesome I'm I'm expecting that to look. So see you very shortly.